Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of my Minecraft Survival Series. My name is Code Lima, and if you were here for the last episode, you'll remember I was working on this island, um, sort of. And my plan was going to be to finish it off. Um, you can see that I've been working on it. But then I remembered that 1.20 was being released, and I decided that I was just going to go and find all the new things, because I'm in fact a child and I must have all the new shiny shiny. So because I've updated, um, I don't have any of my mods, which means I can't zoom in on my face. And uh, there's a couple of other things I can't do either. Uh, I won't be doing any time lapses this episode because uh, I do not have replay mod. But anyway, possibly the thing I'm most excited about in the new update is the new armor trims that have been added. So I'm going to be starting by looking for some of those and hopefully by the end of the episode I'll have all of them or most of them and I'll be able to show you what they look like or at least one or two of them. So the first trim I'm going to look for is the Spire trim which is found in the end city. So I'm going to get going. So these trims only have a 6.7 chance of spawning, these particular ones, they all have different chances. Uh, so I might have to visit a few end cities before I find it. Um, I did reset the chunks outside of the main end island, just so I didn't have to go thousands and thousands of blocks to find one. But yeah, so yeah, this is the first one I've been to, but like I said, might have to go to a few. Just get the sh shulker out of the way. Oh, well, that was super easy. Um, I honestly thought this was going to take a lot longer, but there we go. So I thought while I was in the end, I would try and get an advancement as well. Um, I kind of cheesed it by throwing down the enderpearl, but I tried so many times to get it organically, and the shulkers just wouldn't push me up more than 50 blocks. So, yeah, I had to cheese it a little, but that's another advancement done. So next up, we are looking for the Sentry Armour Trim, which is found in Pillager Outposts. And it has a 25% chance of spawning, but the Pillager Outposts only have one chest in, so uh, I might have to visit three or four to find it. So hopefully it won't take too long. Nope. Nope. Oh, third time lucky. And these ones always spawn in twos as well, so that makes it a little better. Oh look, there's some alays over here, maybe I should breed them, although I don't have an alay head yet, so maybe I should just... Yeah, sorry about this, I'm just gonna... Oh, there we go. Well, at least I only had to kill one of them. One more head for the collection. Okay, came to look for desert temples for the next trim and I found this weird floating sand and dead bush. Minecraft world generation is pretty weird sometimes. Alright so now we are looking for the June trim which spawns in the loot chests in the bottom of the desert temples and it has a pretty high chance 57% um, when you combine the fact that there's four chests in there. But also in these temples is suspicious sand, which is something I haven't done yet. And you can brush it with a little brush and you get some loot out of it. And one of the things you can get is pottery shards. There you go, I've got some. Oh, I got one and got a little achievement for that as well, a little advancement, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, so we'll... Drop down now, have a look in the chests, see if we can see any. No, 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 no. All right. Well, I'm going to grab this TNT because it's free TNT. And then I will move on to the next one. So I was on my way looking for other desert temples when I saw the shipwreck. And shipwrecks also have trims in. Yeah, there's two in there. Okay. Uh, they always spawn in twos as well. Okay, so I still haven't found another desert temple, but I came across a jungle temple, and guess what? Yep, yeah, there's trims in here too. 33.3% chance. 
So let's have a look. There's two loot chests in these. Oh, lovely. This is getting easier and easier. So here we actually have a desert well. Now, these have been a meme for so long because they were so pointless. But now they have suspicious sand in as well. So you can get something. Emeralds. Yep. That's about right. Right, finally found another desert temple, so gonna do the suspicious sand again. Okay, we got more pottery sherds, so that's cool. Now, let's have a look at the loot. Nope, no trims. Alright, gonna have to find another one. Ooh, a desert village. I wonder if there's a camel! Oh, yeah, there's a camel. Look at the camel. Oh my god. The camels are so cool. And they're kind of cute when they sit on the ground too. I love them. I could just stand here all day and stare at it. But I'm not going to do that. I need to keep looking for trims. Okay, hopefully it's going to be third time lucky. I found another desert temple. Let's have a look through the suspicious sand. See what we get. Okay, got some more shards. That's cool. And now for the moment of truth with the chests. Nope. Nope. Yes! Two. Uh, they spawn in twos. But that's cool. Okay, so I wasn't planning on this, but I found the trail ruins on the way back, and I decided to stop off and see if I could find anything good. Um, so I've already got a little bit of loot, but I've just got these last few to do, and yeah, it's all crap up here, but I got some good things. I got some trims. And I'm just going to keep digging out the rest of it and see what else I can find. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you've completely decimated it and dug it all out. Um, they vary, they're not always the same. This one's actually on the smaller side. Um, but yeah, there's the hole above me where I came in, uh, so you get an idea of what it looks like. So next I'm going to find another one. Uh, my tools need some repair, but I'm going to dig it out and like around it and sort of try and expose the whole structure so you can you guys can see what it looks like oh i also got all four possible armor trims from this too the good loops at the bottom of these you have to get deep to get the good stuff so i found a second trail ruins and i've started digging it out this is the main tower and you can see it's starting to branch off in different directions. Uh, but before I dig those out, I just want to brush some of this suspicious gravel because I'm paranoid about accidentally breaking it and not getting the loot. So let's see if I get anything good. So we finished digging it all out. Um, well, I haven't completely uncovered it to sunlight, um, but it's in a jungle and that's just a lot of trees and stuff that I'd have to clear as well. So it's too much pain without a beacon. But anyway, so you've got this main staircase that goes down. And then it sort of branches off and there's all these sort of little side rooms. And then there's this main kind of pathway that goes down. And yeah, they're just a really cool, you know, structure. And I guess, you know, because they're sort of ruins, they were at one point supposed to be like a proper, proper little thing, like, like a proper building. And, you know, some of these rooms have things in them, like, uh, loom or uh, grindstone or some furnaces or something so yeah they're supposed to be old old buildings that were used I guess back in the day um, maybe one day I'll come back and I'll dig it all out completely and might be a nice little project and then maybe even try and sort of restore it to what I think it would have looked like back in the day but that is something for another time
Okay, so the next thing I decided to do was try and find uh, the sniffer eggs, and you can find those in warm ocean ruins. So that's why I'm here under the sea. And they spawn with suspicious sand in them now, which again you have to brush, and you get the sniffer egg hopefully. I'm not sure what the chances of it spawning are. Oh yes. There we go, there's one, and you get an advancement for that as well, because the mob is called a sniffer, the advancement's called Smells Interesting, and I'm just going to get out of here before I drown. Actually, thinking about it, I should probably get two sniffer eggs, and then I can breed them together, so I'm just going to go look for another one. Hopefully it won't take me too long to find. Okay, so I found another sniffer egg. Um, the only problem is, I hadn't really decided where I'm going to put them, because I wasn't planning on getting them this soon. Um, so I'm just going to leave them in here for now, and then I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put them, where their home's going to be. I think I'll give them their own space somewhere, um, but I need to. I really need to read up on the mechanics and how it works, because, you know, they sniff seeds out of the ground, but I feel like they can't search the same area twice, so they have to move around a lot or something, maybe? So you can't just leave them in one place all the time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to figure something out with that. And while I was digging, I also found this music disc, which is a new one. And I haven't actually listened to it yet. So I'm not sure what it sounds like. So let's pop it in and give it a whirl. Alright, cool. It is Loki a bot. I like it. I like it. Definitely up there with my favourites. Still not as good as the other side, but pretty good. So the sherds are looking pretty good. Uh, apparently there's 20 different sherds, and I need to, again, I need to research and see if they only generate in certain places. Um, but for now, I think this is a pretty good collection, and um, once I've got more, I'll start making some pots out of them, I reckon. And I also just want to show you guys the hanging signs, if you haven't seen them before. Um, so there's three different types. There's one that you can sort of hang on the side, and then there's the one that hangs on the bottom of the block with two chains. And then you can hang them down from like a fence post or a chain, so it's got the two chains go into the middle. You can now also edit signs too, which is awesome because you don't have to break the sign and replace it just to change the words on it. And this has been something that people have wanted for a long time although i accidentally keep editing this sign every time i try and go in this chest which is a little bit annoying but i'm sure i'll get used to it all right so now i've got the sniffers i'm gonna get back to looking for some armor trims and the next one i'm gonna get is i which is found in the stronghold so this one is almost guaranteed because it has a hundred percent spawn chance in a library that is inside a stronghold and libraries are like 99% likely to spawn. Sometimes you even get two, depending on the structure. It's only very rarely they don't get generated um, because they might get overwritten by something else. Um, but anyway, you're going to have to go old school and get the Eyes of Ender out to find out where another stronghold is. Okay, so the castle is over that way and the stronghold I currently have is in that direction too. So I'm hoping if I throw this the opposite direction there will be a stronghold closer that way and yeah it looks like there is one over there so i'm gonna start heading over that way and we'll see what we can do okay so the stronghold is here somewhere uh the eye's dropping down so i'm just gonna dig down and hopefully we're gonna find it one eternity later oh finally oh and we've come in at the library as well that's even better okay so in this chest yeah there should be one and then there's another chest up top with one too okay awesome so let's see if there's another library in here and i'll check these little loot chests on the way if i see any oh there's one. Oh, another one okay that's awesome another loot chest and another one wow that's crazy these have a 10 percent chance of spawning in these chests so the fact that I found two is just madness. Oh damn, okay, I found another library. 
Okay, so there's another two trims in here. So we've got six from one stronghold. That's crazy. Um, good crazy. Yeah, I think statistically that's pretty unlikely. So that's good. Um, and now I've just got to find my way out of here. Okay, so I was planning on getting more of the armor trims, but this episode is already running quite long. So I think I'll save the others for next episode. There is a couple more things I want to show you before I go though, and the first is the new bamboo blocks. Um, I love that they've added this, mostly because it's really easy, cheap, farmable wood, um, but also because these blocks do be looking kind of cool. Um, I love the mosaic bamboo the most, I think it'll be cool as a floor block. And yeah, I'm going to have to make a bamboo farm pretty soon now that these blocks have been introduced. So the last thing I wanted to do was find the brand new biome, the cherry tree grove. Uh, once I find it, I'll also get the adventuring time advancement for hitting all the biomes. But the main reason I want to find it is purely just for how cool it looks. So I'm going to start finding around to see if I can find one anywhere. Oh, look what's coming into view. Amazing. Uh, it's not too far from spawn actually, which is nice. I'll set up a portal here at some point and make it more accessible. And I might do a little build here as well, just for the aesthetic, but that'll be later down the line. And yeah, there you go, there's the advancement as well. It's just so pretty. I love that they finally added this to the game. And, you know, especially if you're here at the right time of day, it looks even more incredible. In fact, I might hang around just to show you guys. Look at that beautiful sunset. The cherry grove, the petals, it's all just so beautiful. I know it's just a video game, but it's hard not to appreciate the beauty of it. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you're new, consider subscribing and don't forget to drop a like and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the new trims and all the other cool 1.20 stuff. Um, next episode, I'll probably keep doing some trim hunting. I really want to get all of them. Um, hopefully I'll have found a home for the sniffers by then as well. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!